just go ahead and let's uh, make a new axe because I kind of need one. Mine's almost broken. And if we're going to finish this uh, house, we do need a little bit more. But yo, what's up, guys? Shins here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pixelmon series. In today's episode, we are currently alone on the server. Smoke is not on today, so that means we could go ahead and uh, get ahead of him. Nah, not really. I'm not that type of person. I love to, you know, have a fair game with the homies. You know what I mean? But in today's episode, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to finish my house because I did not finish it. I left it off just a little bit uh, unfinished, as you can currently see right now. Look at the look at the roof. There's no roof, of course. So I still want to go ahead and look for a design that currently suits me, of course. There's a little Meowth here. She looking at Buddy. Find a design that currently suits me. We already have the uh, foundation. You know what I mean? We got this bottom portion done and. And we also woke up a little bright and early just to go ahead and start uh, mining some trees. You know what I mean? Well, not mining, chopping down some trees, but you know what I mean. I gotta take down this little wood piece. Can I reach that? I don't think I can actually reach that. Let me go ahead and do this. So that way I can reach these two pieces and start getting some saplings, maybe apples too. But now that I think about it, that's a really small Pokemon. Who are you, Dolph? That is very interesting. I was not expecting to see that, but I had to find a way on where I want to put my stairs at and how I'm gonna you know put the stairs down of course something I do want to do is probably like just cover this portion up just a little bit and then just go from here with this and start placing the floor now I don't know what I'm going to do for the second floor I do have to find something for it and then find like a corner that I want to use to put the stairs because I don't think I'm gonna use ladders I want to use stairs of course let's go ahead and make some uh, wood stairs here thankfully I have these uh I have this crafting table here now where am I gonna place it it's gonna I mean it's gonna look awkward just due to the simple fact even though I could probably like place something right here and then when I come into the house do something like oh and then we have the second floor we have some chests maybe some stuff down here below it let me go ahead and uh, use I'll use the sand go ahead right here one break you two three and then in this case we can't use sand for this portion because it's it's just not gonna work but and if I do this oh, I need to make six more stairs here quickly Bloop, there we go oh that makes four not six anymore never mind I don't think it ever changed did it I don't remember honestly but there we go now we can go ahead and just do it like that and then place this bad boy right there that right there and that right there so yeah we can have like this little portion to where we go in boop into the house we have the stairs going up now all we got to just find a block that we actually want to use and then under here we could put like the furnaces to cook maybe chests or something not chests because it's going to be blocked off but at least we have these furnaces right here i'm going to pick up and start placing on the inside i know this has food in there just go ahead and number four let's put that there put these here in the meantime let's put you back in oh hello oh that's cooked never mind <laughs> that's cooked I, I was i was confused i was like why isn't it working but there we go so we got that there in the meantime while i think about what i'm going to do here now that i thought about it since i have the initial floor made out of smooth stone i'm gonna go ahead and make this one out of the regular oak wood and now what i am going to do now that i have the glass there i'm going to Put the oh, can I come up that I don't think I can can I I can but I'm gonna change it to the stairs type but what I can do is that for the different portion of the floors I'll just use a different colored glass this one has red so the top one I could just go ahead and I don't know make it like blue or something maybe that'd be pretty cool I don't think that would look bad maybe blue maybe green maybe yellow make some stairs here so we could place one two and three yeah see this looks way better okay and then I could take these corners out. Maybe place one right here. These two corn. Ouch. Take those two corners out. Uh, here we go. And then we go one, two for the corner. Oh, I did not mean to place that like that. And then there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that looks pretty good so that we can like run up. Okay. Oh, that's a big tree. Hello. Why are you screaming in my ear? The other tree did not come down, but I kind of understand why because this one kind of grew. Let's break this one down right here. There we go. Now they're currently dismantling slowly but surely war turtles burn was healed i don't remember when he was burned but on the bright side he actually did that so thank you 
Okay, so we got most of the tree done. It should come down by itself. Oh, not really, because it has wood right there. That's why it won't come down. All right, there we go. So I took care of that tree. So now it should come down completely. Awesome. Now, uh, it's almost nighttime. So I'm just going to go ahead and save a couple of resources in here. Just throw all of that in there. I'm going to keep my food on me. And I think I'm going to go on a little uh, mining adventure. Why not? Just expand the mine a little bit more. Let me place this in here also. Hopefully, we could find another boss like we did. Maybe a uh, mega Pokemon. Who knows? But enough of that. Let's go ahead and get down here. Ah, uh, shit. Let me go back up. Let me go make some stairs. Because if we're going to keep going down, we got to make some more stairs. Never mind. I got 30. So I don't need more stairs. I will end up clearing out this whole area, like from the trees. It's going to look really plain. But we will eventually go ahead and replace it with more, uh, with more trees, of course. All right. So we got the rest of the stairs down here. I do have to pick up the rest of this iron. Just put that there. All right. So now we can go ahead and continue mining all of this down. I want to at least get to Y12, maybe 11. Because I know that the caves and cliffs update is, I think it's like 1.18, 1.20. It's somewhere around there. So it's not necessarily this one. So I know that these caves aren't really, you know, infinitely deep, of course. Oh my God, there's another little vein of iron here. Holy. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab all of this quickly. There's even more iron? What the f Bro. Please, I'm trying to go back to continue mining. Let's just go ahead and cover this bad boy up here. Now, the coal, I'm not really caring for that much because we have more than enough. I think we do. We have, I think we have like a snack. I don't really need to worry about it, but I will probably end up grabbing it because that's just me though. I'm, I'm, I'm just wired like that. I see coal and I'm like, oh, well, it's in the ore. Let's take it. All right, so currently mining, there is, I don't know if this is diamonds. It kind of looks like it, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not diamonds. I figured it wasn't diamonds, but... Well, there goes that pickaxe. Oh, there's a zoo bat here. There's a couple. Oh, wait, this is a spawner. Hello? I see that mossy cobblestone. Okay, so there's a zoo bat here. I'm not even going to try catching it because I know I'm probably going to end up killing it as per usual. So I'm just not going to really waste my time with it. I do have to make another pickaxe. Oh, that's a gassy. This actually scared me. So I got to go back up, make a uh, another pickaxe because mine, it's, it's just done so. Uh, this is a long way up. This is, see, this is why I actually place the stairs just to avoid having to, you know, jump each time when I can just literally sprint up all the way. All right. So I think from this, I can go ahead. I can make a crystal pickaxe. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. Actually, let me see. Oh, no, I can actually make a crystal pickaxe. Okay. That's a huge W right there. Let me just throw all these ores in here, except this little bit of cobblestone because I, I might actually need it. Now, as for the rest of it where was it i had it somewhere around here oh it's already in my inventory never mind so i'm gonna go ahead and start smelting this cobblestone here let's go ahead and take you out and put you in there let's have that go off for a while while we explore this cave down here to see what we actually have down here so i do see the little little sapphire of course that i will be taking thank you a little air in here let me why do you look so scared bro <laughs> he looks scary as fuck oh Cacturn level 40. Okay. Uh, let me just go ahead and get away from you momentarily. That's a zombie. Oh. Oh, so this is a... So this is like a grinder, basically. So I could just come... Oh, they definitely want me. They both want me. They're like zombies. Can I flame wheel him? Okay, flame wheel. What tax? Payback? Jesus Lord. Okay, let me go ahead and just heal up quickly. Okay, Monferno is back up. Use growth. Flame wheel again. Oh, he's almost out. Killed Monferno. Holy Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull out Vicavolt. In the meantime, let's revive Monferno because I want him to get that XP because he dealt a lot of damage. Uh, bug Bite should work. Needle Arm doesn't really do much to us. And then, oh, I flinched. Bug Bite. Needle Arm again? And it killed it? That is, that is insane. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal the Monferno for now. Needle. Bro, he's instantly knocking us out. Okay. Hopefully, Dartrix goes first. I don't think it does. I'm going to try. Okay. There we go. I plucked it. Holy mother of God. There's a bunch of them in here that really want to kill me. So I'm just going to take all. I mean, I get close to. Oh. Ooh. Okay, buddy. There's a, there's too many of you guys here. There's too many. So that's like an EXP grinder right there. If in case we, you know, need to level up, of course. Okay, this little cube bun's annoying. Please leave me alone. Let me just go ahead and go up. 
Yeah, this is like a EXP grinder, so we gotta watch out with that. Let's go ahead and heal up all these Pokemons here quickly. Because they do really need it, and I don't have a... Unfortunately, of course, I don't have a healer, what nor do, do I have? have a Pokemon Center next to us. So this Garbodor is really not gonna let me go by, so I'm just gonna have to just get close. Hit run, get what that avoidance. Oh, it did not let me escape, okay. What it did not let me escape again. Do Bro, can I please escape? Thank you, fellow of God. So let me just block. Let me just block you off there. Holy. Okay, Cubone, come on. This is like the second time. There we go. Let's leave those blocked in there. Geodude. Okay, so there's really much over here. Let me not get close to that wall because I know they're probably going to fight me. This Garbodor is actually going to fight me because I know he's actually going to do that. Oh, uh, and I don't have a psychic type or anything to actually take him down. So let's go ahead and light this up here. Just keep the torches there knowing that we already came through here. Let's take this iron. All right, so let's take all that coal. What I need to do is find a way to actually... He's going to fight me again. Can I... Do I, I don't think I have a move, do I? Yeah, no, I don't have a ground move to actually knock him out. So I'm just gonna have to go past him again. Hit escape and then find a way to put like, none of them let me place a damn torch in here. Okay. This Q-bone just kept Q-bone until he got me. Look at all of them that are in here. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. Kofagrigus got us, but A. Hey. Let's see what we can do here. So, Kofagrigus, I know that it's ghost. So let me pull out Dartrix to just shadow sneak it all the way. I use Protect. Come on. Can't use Protect again, buddy. Here we go. Just one more. And there we go. Oh, my God. There's like five Pokemon there. Oh, my. Okay. Phantom Membrane. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. We're not fighting any of you guys. Not right now. Not fighting you either, buddy. Holy God. Jesus Christ, there's like 30 Pokemon in there. Not really. There's not really 30. It's just me exaggerating, but still, there's so many. I don't even have any more torches. What the hell is that? What was that noise? That sounded really creepy. Holy. Oh, my God. We can see the sun again. It's bright. Oh, my God. Thank you. So next up on the list, I need a, a healer. So let's go ahead and start getting that crafted. I got so much stuff on me. Let's go ahead and throw that ore in there. Let's throw you in there. <laughs> you could imagine if furnaces can actually burn down your house. That'd be really funny. Thankfully, they can't. Silicon ore. Let's throw you in there. Bro, them Pokemon, they are, they all, like, all of them want to just knock me out. They're, they're, they're just planning down there right now so on the bright side to make a healer you need four aluminum ingots so i got two right here you need three iron ingots and a die but what color do i actually want to put it i could put it yellow or i you know what i'm gonna put it red because i'm gonna place it on the first floor maybe around here somewhere in one of these corners or should i not i mean i want to make blue but i don't have a color for blue what if I mix red and yellow? I think I got like an orange color. Yeah, I get orange dye. Orange dye isn't really that bad. I don't think it is. Go ahead and craft this bad boy here quickly. One, two, three. And then we got one, two. Oh, never mind. Wait, I need a, I need a diamond. Do I have a diamond on me? You know, I just remembered I don't have a diamond because I actually used it to make my big ass backpack. Oh, I got to go mining for diamonds. Oh, no. I got to go back down there. Oh. <gasps> That's an Ampharos. Holy. Level 36. Should I try fighting it? I feel like I should. You know what? I'm actually going to try fighting it. Damn, I use Discharge? That's a lot. That's a big hit, bro. Fire Punch? Jesus, you are OP. Okay, Flame Wheel. That damn, I'm already paralyzed. But on the bright side, we got it low. So let's go ahead and drop a Pokeball on it. Bloop. Damn, it broke free hella fast. Chill, buddy. At least stay in the ball for like two seconds. Oh, I got it. Oh, God, I got it on the second try. Let's go. Got ourselves an Ampharos, bro. Let's heal up these bad boys. All I need is one diamond. That's all I need. Once I get one diamond, we're set. We're literally set. Now, the thing is having to get a Silk Touch. So that way I'd be able to move it around. Because if I don't get a Silk Touch, I cannot move it around whatsoever. Let's go ahead and take one of these Castellar Cones and let's use it on you. Move that uh, paralysis. Oh my God, you guys are just breeding left and right. <gasps> oh my God, look how beautiful. A Meganium, even though I already have a Bayleaf. 
What level are you? 42. Jesus Christ, you were high level. I love how I'm like, oh my god, I'm a Ganium. This and that, and boom. High ass level. Even though I feel like Monferno could do it. Monferno got this shit. A light screen? That won't do much. Tackle? You're a Meganium with tackle still? I would have thought you would gotten rid of that or something. And then flame wheel once more. You're not dead? Mac punch? There we go. Oh, it's like, there's no way you are not like down and out. A fern? I'll take it. I'll take it. Because I can make some pots. So that's a W. Make some pots, you know, have some uh, stuff around the base. All right, so now we're going to go back down there. I just got to find a way to actually get rid of all those Pokemon that are there. They're just waiting for me. They just want me to go back down there. What I will... Oh my... Why are you all... Brother. Holy, there's so many. I'm just going to stay in here because, you know, why not? But what I will be doing... Let me go ahead and replicate the bottom floor. One, two, then three... And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, you are loud. Can I like take you guys out or something? Like for dinner? Let's go ahead and grab some wood from these trees to start placing the corners. So now that I don't have a blue die, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the orange one and make the, the windows above orange and just go from there. Maybe like, I don't know, Put it into like, I don't know, like some rainbow colored shape, just like a really colorful house. I, I mean, I am going to make multiple floors, of course. I don't think I will ever make a basement. And if I do, it's probably for making, uh, let's just get in here, hide in here. It's probably for making the, the farm. I just thought about it. Wow, it took me a while. Let's go ahead and do this for glass panes. And then just go around like that twice. The orange die. Go ahead and start one, two, three, four. Let's place you. Let's remove my backpack for now. Okay, let's go one, two, three. Let's go three high for now. One, two, three. So that way we have the little corners of the base already. Ouch. Set. I was not expecting to take damage from that. I promise you that. Oh, then we do another one here. And then we go one, two, three, four. Dude, this is so easy. Okay, so now I gotta make more. Or not even make more, get more wood, first of all. Get sticks to make some torches to light up the damn place because it's hella dark. Until, actually, I don't need... Hello. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually really funny. That's just standing there. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make some more torches just to keep here for now. Just to light up the place, just a, you know, just a little bit. Let me go ahead and place one, two, three. For now, of course, when I get a little bit more lanterns and make them too. Let's go ahead and those corners like that. And then two, three, one, and then one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, and then three. There we go. So we got the second floor already constructed. We can go ahead and put chests and like everything, anything else that we currently need up here, which is good. All right. So we got everything set. Oh, wait, I need more torches. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and take some out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to mine because I need at least one diamond to make a healer. Do any of these? Oh, that's a boss. Hello. Right, do you want to battle? Hey, say less. Shit. You're a squirrel bit, level 52. I got you. Don't worry. Take your ass down. Bite. That tickled me. Let's take you out. There we go. It's a rare boss, too. What did you give me? HP up. Medium candy. Okay, so we got two medium candies and HP up. I wasn't expecting that boss actually to get to me. Bro, can you? You need to shut the hell up. Throat chop? What the f? Nah, that's hell of OP. Having throat chop. He has giga it. Nah, I'm not fighting you. Nope. You have giga impact. Yeah, no, I don't want to fight you anymore. All right, let's go back in here. What? I'm like, I understand you're level 58, but holy shit. Giga impact that early? That is just criminal, if you ask me. So now we have 10 saplings. We can go ahead and just spread them out like one, two, uh, maybe, I don't know, three, four, five. I just realized I'm like putting them on the same uh, row without even realizing. Okay, Arbok, come on, buddy. Let's go ahead and take you down. We got that aqua tail going crazy. Got that strong tail, fam. Messing with the wrong one. So we got 10 saplings down. I hope that's more than enough. Go ahead and throw that in here. Who are you? Huh? Far-fetched? Why doesn't... Is this the original far-fetched? I think it is. I don't... Dude, I don't want to mess with any of these Pokemons. They're really high level. And one of them has Giga Impact, so... 
Let's place that block there. Let's go ahead and continue down here mining. Before I continue, is it finally clear? Oh, it is. Thank you. Holy, that was really annoying. So we got a couple of gems, a stone plate, and some wheat. So the best part is that if I remove that, let me just block this back up. If I remove the torches, they will literally like 20 of them will spawn, which is good because if we need to train, we got them there. They are grass types and ghost types. Let's go ahead and grab this aluminum ingots here. So this is okay. Mackley's just dying. Let's grab this amethyst. Ooh, there's more. Okay, I'll take it. So the, we got the little mine shaft here, which is really good. Got the little knackly right there. Hopefully you don't come attacking me, because if not, I would just knock you out with an aqua tail instantly without hesitating at all. Oh, we got a ravine here also. Oh, this is huge. Okay, so we're gonna have to explore this later on. Let me just go back up for now. Okay, so let's go block that water source off. What is this? Silver? I was, okay. I guess. I mean, we'll take it. We could probably use it for something. Who knows? So there's a bunch of different ores in Pixmon that I was not expecting. I don't remember seeing the silver ingots. That's for sure. Uh, the silicon, I think so. The aluminum, I do remember that. It's, I mean, it's like I said, it's been a while. What I don't remember is you being able to craft different types of pickaxes out of crystal, out of sapphire, out of ruby, out of amethyst. I do not remember that at all. That's for sure. Cause I just remember grabbing them and like, you can't really do much with it. So I guess they implemented that recently maybe, or some time ago. I don't know, but I know that when I first started playing it, you could not do that at all. Okay, buddy. You know what? Get in a water pulse of the dome. Thank you. Okay. We don't really need the dirt, but I'll take it just in case. Let's go ahead and grab this crystal. You just make more pickaxes or tools just in general. This is a dead end. Gotta eat me some food. I'm really hungry. So there were, there were a couple ores here in this little corner that I took more silver that was there. I think like eight pieces, which is still good. I just gotta find out what I can actually do with that. Probably once I smelt it, we'll probably unlock more things within the crafting book itself or whatever the little book is that shows you the recipes of things. Oh my God. There's a lot of ores here. I do hear that lava, which I will be going to it shortly because from there, I could probably find some diamonds. Let's just run all the way back here. Clear this spot out. Oh, never mind. There's more to it. Oh, if this is here, oh, damn it. I, 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 would, I would have to walk through it. Yeah. If this is around here, this means that there is a, there is a, let me go ahead and grab these pieces of wood here. Oh, okay. So I was just about to say that right now. There's a spawner there. There's a spawner in there. It said the, the, the cave spider Pokemon one. So if that one's there, that means that they're just going to keep on attacking me. Let me just get out of here quickly. Galbantula. Okay. So let's go ahead and place this bad boy down somewhere. Let's make a water bucket so we can pick up water. Of course, duh. Or not even make a water bucket. Make a bucket just in general. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's a relicant. No one, bro. That was giving me goosebumps, like straight up. Okay, so let's go ahead and bite the little joltic here. Oh my god, it paralyzed me. Come on, Aquatel. Absorb, like, brother. Please drop. That Galvantula is literally gonna knock us the fuck out. <laughs> Thunder wave. Okay, buddy. This is what I hate about electric Pokemon. The whole, oh my God, let's paralyze them. Like it's, it's, it's repetitive and annoying at times. Okay. Flame wheel. And then let's go ahead and do it once more. There we go. We took it out. We have a whole XP grinder down here. Oh, well, I mean, there are a couple things that I don't really need, but I mean, yeah, but even then like, there's no need for this many, you know, this many Pokemon to spawn. Alright, so we made it to the end of this. Honestly, that Relicant was actually giving me goosebumps because the way it sounds, it sounds weird, but it sounds really cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's go ahead and just get moving over here. See where I could pick up these items. I don't really think I need the spider eyes, of course. So I'm just gonna keep them there for now. I do want to continue grabbing all these ores and all these items that are down here. This is a pretty big mineshaft. And 
with two, no actually three spawners because it was one above that i still have to get to but it was kind of impossible with the uh with uh with the cobwebs of course you can't really do anything but even then now that I have the water bucket, it should be good, but there's three of them here. So we have bug, we have ghost, electric, and grass. So we have like, you know, three spawners that we can actually farm for materials and get our Pokemon uh, level up, of course. Oh, there's one here. Damn it. Let me go ahead and start placing the water bucket above everywhere. Is it cleared out? I can't place it anywhere else. Hello? There we go. I got it. I got most of it. I can't really complain about it now. All right, so I prepped my Monferno to take this Galvantula out. Level 37, that's, that's perfectly. Electro Ball? Damn! You gotta chill, homie. Electro Web? Nah, brother. You are, you are messing with me. You are literally poking my stuff, okay? And then I could just Shadow Sneak and instantly kill it. There we go. Kind of sad that Monferno did not get the XP that he deserved because he kind of did this. Of course, but that's perfectly fine. Gotta revive that bad boy. Hello, welcome back. All right, you ready for round two, buddy? Ooh, level 44. Okay, this one means uh, this one means business. But we got it, we got it. Don't worry, Flame Wheel will actually do its thing, 100%. Uh, now I'm actually gonna heal it because I want to go ahead and uh, risk it dying. Let's go ahead and Monferno, Flame Wheel, and it's out. There's a mo why are there more, brother? There should not be more. Like, I'm placing torches everywhere. Nah, y'all could stay there. I don't care about you guys anymore. I already took care of two of them. I'm not going to take care of 30 more. Oh, shit. What's this now? So, what is this? A Whismer spawner now? No, I got a Joltik on me. God damn it. All right, there we go. I took it out instantly. Hopefully, there's another Joltik there. Hopefully, this... No, I got another one on me. How many more? All right, there we go. Check him out again. Hopefully, this is this this is like the last of it. No, I spawned another one. No, Jolte, please leave me alone. God damn it. Okay, so I'm kind of low. Let's go ahead and just heal up here quickly. Let's use a lemonade, dude. These lemonades are perfect. Ever since I bought them, literally just phenomenal. Let's go ahead and do that. Absorb. Okay, so hopefully I can use my Aqua Tail now and instantly knock it out. There we go. Oh my god, finally. Okay, so that one's done. There's so many spawners around here. I got so much string. <laughs> I can make 30 beds now. As for this one, I gotta find a way to actually finish this one. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'll let you guys die there. Actually, okay, buddy. Electro web, really? I can't. Okay, I might as well break this one because I can't do much about this. So. so, there we go. I broke that one. That one's done for. I don't need it, honestly. I got one all the way back there. So, we got those two. Where else can we go before, you know, exploring this ravine? There's more to explore, that's for sure. All right, let's go ahead and hop down here to see what we have. Ooh, there's a lot of lava. Okay. Gotta make sure I just don't fall in that. I finally got some redstone on me. Because I know I did pick some up previously, just not really that much. Now, what's left to find is some diamonds, just to get that Pokemon healer. Oh my god, I almost fell in there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab you. Oh, shh. Okay, let's go back up here. I'm gonna go ahead and revive my War Turtle, just so I could go ahead and take down that Graveler, because I know that that Graveler is gonna come and attack me in a second, and I want nothing to do with it except take it down. So, now. Let's go ahead and place that water bucket. Start clearing all of this up. God, that was loud in my ear. I, what I've realized is that there's a lot of ores around here that I could grab, but I'm not gonna grab them now. I'll probably do it off camera because there's just way too many. And by the time I finish this, it's probably gonna be like an hour long episode and we're not trying to do that, of course. This, this is platinum ore? Okay, what can platinum ore be used for? That's the real question. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, so we got enough crystals from these little these little patches that are around here. Let's go ahead and just grab this little bit here and throw it in a backpack. I'm gonna take a quick peek back here just to see if there's anything extra, maybe additional. The lapis I do need and desperately, so we're definitely taking that. Because if we're gonna use the enchanting table at that one spot for now, until I get silk touch to pick it up. Or no, no, not silk touch to pick it up, pick that up. Uh, silk touch for the axe to pick up the books. Then, yeah, we're just gonna have to keep it there in the meantime because I don't have a uh, sugarcane enough at least to make um, 
some more of course let's go ahead and throw all these ores in here in the meantime i got a little bit of uh got a little bit of ores honestly and i think i got more than enough but i'm still gonna oh my god this is what happens when you try to get redstone that happens of course I'm gonna pick up these little red pieces because I know I have a couple of them in one of my backpacks. Oh, look at them right here. So I got seven Firestone shards. I just need two more just to make a full Firestone. And then we could go ahead and maybe, I don't know, evolve a Growlithe or something. I, I love Growlithe. Arcanine especially. Oh, such a great addition, honestly. I used to run Arcanine a lot back when I used to play in the DS. That was like one of my go-to Pokemons, honestly, especially when he had Fire Fang and Extreme Speed. And with his like base speed itself. Oh man. Oh my level 85. What the f what am I facing here? Please go inside. Please don't come to me. Let's go ahead and pick up this little platinum ore here. Let's go ahead and grab this fire little stone thingies here. Okay. Diamonds. That's what we need. Just diamonds. No, the pick broke, not the pick. It's time to make a new one out of the ruby that's right here. All right, so let's just continue exploring over here. Uh, the main important ores are like a gold, iron. <gasps> Speaking of diamonds, let's go ahead and grab all these diamonds. Is there any more around here? Hopefully there is. I'm currently at Y12. So there should be more. There we go. Now we can see. This is what happens when you start spamming torches left and right everywhere. Trying to illuminate the whole damn place. Oh my god, I almost fell in love. Knackle stack is level 68? Brother. These, like, ravine Pokemon or cave Pokemon are just, like, next level, honestly. They have to chill. Honestly. Oh my god, Aaron's level 62? Oh my god, homie's OP as shit. Yeah, now these cave Pokemon, Ghastly's level 52? Oh my lord. And it's a Ghastly, bro. A Ghastly. I think if I use Lucario against the Aaron, it'll instantly knock it out. Because Aura Sphere, especially on a Rock and Steel, that's quadruple and it will just instantly decimate it. Without a doubt. I feel like I should. Where is it? Come here, Aaron. Hello. Here we go. I'm going to try it out just to see. Let's go. Aura Sphere. Protect, brother. Come on, on the first round. Protect again. There we go. Yeah, I see. Instantly knocked it out. I figured. I knew it. I was like, man, there's no way it doesn't like instantly knock it out because it's quadruple the damage. And it's, you know, it's an Aura Sphere, bro. Aura Sphere never misses. Put some of these ores here again. There's so much ore around here. It's like it's non-stop. But on the bright side, now that I think about it, we got the diamond that we needed. So now we can go ahead and just go back up, make the healer, and just call it a day. Cause I am tired. I have not slept whatsoever. And I need my bed right now. Even though it has half a roof, of course, but I still need my bed. Sableye's level 40. So it looks like now that it's currently day, because I could uh see my little clock that's kind of early but now that it's day let me just throw this in here i feel like the pokemon's went back to like their normal level which is like level 30s level 40s or is it that the deeper you go the higher the level is i'm actually curious about that now all right let's go ahead and get back up okay this was where the oh my god i don't want to burn let's grab this sapphire now that it's you know it's right in front of us <laughs> of course why not yeah, it looks like yeah, the higher the the higher you are on your Y level, the the lower the level is and when it comes to Pokemon. Cause you guys saw that ghastly that was down there, right? Level something something. It was like 80 something. Oh my god, who are you? You look like a Cosmoc, but you're not. You look oh yeah, you're this one, the Glimit. Okay, so we're almost out. I remember this area. <gasps> Wait, I think I found it over here, right? Is it over here? Oh, yes, it is. We're back home. Oh, my God. We're finally home. Go ahead and just get out of this mine. <gasps> and it's raining as per usual. Nothing new. But on the bright side, we got a lot of ores. Like, a lot. We got a couple stacks here and there. We got the diamond that we needed. So, let's go ahead and make that healer quickly before we go. Four. And then where's the... Oh, the orange dye. I actually used it. That's fine. We got the red one. We, it, uh, it doesn't matter. So we put that there, the four corners. 
the diamond in the middle, and then one, two, and three, the red healer, finally. So now this, we could go ahead and place it. I'll place it in this corner for now, cause why not? Oh no, I did not know it was, it was this small. I don't wanna break it. I'll keep it there, but here we go. We can actually heal our Pokemon up now. Oh, that's amazing. That is phenomenal. Oh man. And it's currently still raining, so it's kind of a little bit early, but I'm just gonna wait just a tad. It's still early in the morning, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna catch some Z's in a second now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you guys did enjoy this little chill episode of uh, still constructing the base just a little bit, you know, catching that Ampharos. On top of that, finding four, like three to four spawners of <laughs> of Pokemon to train with, which was crazy. That little mine shaft. If you guys did enjoy, you know, make sure to smash that like button. Comment what you think about the base so far. You know, the first floor is red, the second one's orange. What color should the third floor be? And what should the floor of the third floor be? Cause this one's, the first one's made out of smooth stone. Second one is made out of wood. What would the third one be? Stone bricks, dirt, maybe, who knows? Make sure to subscribe also. Turn on the bell to receive more notifications for videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.